Okay, we start this fly with a size 20 standard dry fly hook and 70 denier thread. Okay, now you want to tie in a grizzly hackle. Now if you don't have a hackle that's quite the exact size to the bend of the hook, don't worry, this is a Griffiths gnat. It's supposed to represent a clump of uh, gnats floating down the creek, so they're not going to have all the same length hackle. So if it's all wacky looking and the more cluster it looks, the better. Okay, now you're going to tie in peacock, and you're going to use the peacock as close to the eye of the peacock as you can. And here's my little twist on this fly. I use UV pop peacock. And then it'll have a color to go from greenish to black to light brown. This makes it, I don't know, it just works a lot better, I've noticed. And you notice you can either put in a wire after this, or you don't have to tie in a wire. This size, I had a really difficult time using wire in this fly, size 20. Now make sure your thread is still at the eye of the hook and then you're going to run this pomer style or hackle style like with leaving gaps in between your wraps and run that up to the eye of the hook and tie it off. And now keep a note that if you guys see any mistakes I made in this fly, this is almost smaller than my eyes can even see. This is very small. You see there was three of them laying on the penny. I could lay the, every one I tied, I tied about ten of them on that penny. Very small fly, but very, very deadly. Winter dry. Hey, long riders, I hope you like that fly. Welcome to another fly that catches not only fishermen, but lots and lots of fish. Keep watching our videos, keep your lines wet, out of the trees and only give them fish and sore lip and you guys all have a great day. See you next Tuesday, Wednesday for another fly tying video. Have a good day.